doesn't last long at HMS. Alex Randazzo will see to that. She will make you feel right at home. With her intuitive nature, she will recognize your excitement and nerves, and she will go out of her way to make you feel completely at ease, flashing her easy smile and laughing and joking with you while showing you around our environment. She does it all with a grace and easiness well beyond her 14 years. One can only imagine that this is how all our visitors felt when greeted by hospitality manager Alex, at home and at ease. Her gracious extension of friendship and welcoming spirit are only part of what has made Alex such a beautiful member of our community. I've seen this loving nature in every aspect of Alex's life. I've seen her be a brave, brave sister to many brothers. I even shook her hand in mock goodbye when she was first picked up by her brother with his, with his new temp license. <laughs> I've seen how proud she is of her Irish and Italian heritage. She made a beautiful and deeply researched genealogy chart this year in conjunction with her math and humanities studies. Her love for her family is ever present in her being. It simply emanates from her in, a way, in the way that she speaks of them, journals about them, and how she lights up whenever they are around. It is a beautiful quality. I've seen Alex extend this love to her friends as well. She is a constant, unwavering friend. She apologizes when she must, makes a stance against wrongdoing when she needs, and shares her enthusiastic spirit with others always. Again, she demonstrates to us how her love defines her and how she then turns around and shares that love with us all. I've seen this love demonstrated through her hard work, hard and beautiful work. Her polished essays, her stunning works of visual art, her pristine dramatic performances, all these come into such beautiful reality because she cares so deeply about whatever she is engaged in. I can always count on Alex to put care, time, devotion, and love into whatever she does. Whether among her friends and family, on the soccer field, or on the stage, Alex sparkles. Go light up the academy with your sparkle just as you have lit up our community. And don't, let, don't ever let anyone dull that sparkle. It's my privilege to introduce you, Alex Randazzo. Throughout my time here at Hudson Montessori School, I have learned who I am and who I want to become. This school has become a second home for me. The friends I have made and the teachers that have guided me have become family. They have encouraged me and made me strong. I have gained self-confidence and skills that will stay with me forever. I have dared to take on the responsibility of leadership and I have learned the qualities needed to accomplish this role. From when I was three years old to now at 14, I reflect on my journey and my process of growth. I look back on the memories and friendships created. I recognize my struggles and challenges as well. All of these have made me stronger. I have not only been educated in math, science, and history, I have learned the importance of self-expression and my need for support. I have learned about service and the importance of helping others. I feel comfortable asking questions of my teachers and I feel comfortable answering questions asked of me. I have learned that it is a privilege to speak your mind and share your opinion. I remember walking up the ramp on my very first day of seventh grade and being unbelievably nervous. I was afraid I would not be able to handle the challenges presented to me. After completing the past two years here, I feel prepared for the next step in my life. I feel that the variety of opportunities here have prepared me for life ahead. I have learned how to handle situations and how to manage my time inside and out of school. I have experienced the growth of a true community and have come to understand the difficulty in achieving peace. I was very much affected by our peace studies and our trip to Washington, D.C. I received the opportunity, especially while traveling through Arlington Cemetery, to see things from a different perspective. I got the chance to reflect on myself as a human being and to pray for those who have given their lives to serve our country. I would first like to thank my parents for allowing me the opportunity to be educated in such an amazing school and environment. Without their love and support, 
I would not be as confident or as strong as I am today. I would also like to thank all of my teachers that have, that have guided and supported me throughout my time here at Hudson Montessori School. The encouragement and love from my friends and family have made me the person I am today. I have discovered truly who I am as an individual and have gained self-confidence. They have taught me that it is good to take risks in learning and also about the importance of good choices. My journey has come to an end at Hudson Montessori School. The memories made will stay with me forever. HMS has prepared me, not only for the next step in my life, but for adult life ahead. I have discovered who I am. I will continue my education next year at Western Reserve Academy, and I feel ready to embrace the individual that I have become. I am confident that I have the ability to tackle any challenge thrown my way. HMS has taught me how to be a leader, to teach others what I have learned and guide them. I have come to discover that success is achieved through dedication and passion. These qualities are two in which I believe I do not lack. Because of this, I am grateful and I am ready. Thank you. J.D.'s respect and care for others <clears throat> is evident the first time you experience his firm handshake and direct eye contact. When he asks, how are you, you can be sure he is not just using an expression. He truly wants to know about your being, and he does this with an easy smile that assures everyone that they are J.D.'s friend. In addition to being a considerate person, J.D. is a doer. He is always ready to say yes. Whether it is something as common as covering a classmate's afternoon job or taking on a new adventure like painting the coat rack in the basement, JD does it with determination and enthusiasm. He is forever up for a challenge, which is why building a computer from scratch with some friends seemed like such a normal thing for JD to do. His passion was also apparent in the classroom. From being an active participant in current events to taking on the role of Jackie Robinson with zeal, JD has proven to be a determined student. Our sometimes quiet advisor group will miss having JD's wit to keep the conversation going, <laughs> but we can always talk about JD's sense of humor and speculate on his adventures at university school. JD Sharp, everyone. My grandfather used to always say, where does the time go? As I am graduating from the only school I have ever known, I finally understand what he means. The 11 years I have spent here has been filled with many fond memories and many wonderful people. The person standing before you today is someone who has been touched by several people. To me, these people are my role models because the qualities I have seen in them have taught me and thus made me the way I am today. I will, I will be forever grateful to all of you. And I will never forget you. Some of you are here in spirit, such as my papa and my grandma, while others are sitting before me on this graduation day. Looking back to my children's house days, I reminiscent about the days I spent coloring stacking the famous pink tower, solving simple math problems, and learning how to write my short name. <laughs> but Mrs. Case taught me much more than just the basics. I learned an important fundamental virtue, and that virtue is sharing. Her class also marked the beginning of many fond friendships that have lasted this day. I'm not going to lie, the first few days of Children's House were rough, but what, help, but what helped me through that, this rough time was knowing that Mrs. Case and Mrs. Corey cared about me. 
every morning, I would look them in the eye and shake their hand. And in those caring eyes, I saw confidence and happiness, and this reassured me. Children's House was such a crucial time for my early development in my Montessori education. In the elementary classrooms, I came to look up to my teacher and older students. I remember being taught by their example and guided by the adults. For me, elementary was a time of rapid social growth. We had a difficult time accepting differences and often needed help from a guide. The older classmates were wonderful examples. They were an example of people who had been through the difficult transition and came out on top. And I thought, if they could do it, so could I. These people have taught us to appreciate others for who they are, and that lesson has remained with me since. At the start of middle school, I honestly was not sure what experiences were to wait in North House and Garden Lane. But here, I was urged to speak my mind as a seventh level student, and as an eighth level student, I was encouraged to develop my leadership skills in the community. A truly defining moment in my middle school experience was when I began struggling with some academics. I was struggling to the point where I needed assistance. This was a defining moment for me as I realized I needed help and I needed assistance. I took the responsibility upon myself to speak up. I need to be independent and ask questions. Here, I have grown as a critical thinker and as a responsible manager. For 15 years, my parents have gotten up in the morning, sometimes extra early for school trips. They got my sister and I ready in the morning, even though they were very, very tired, <laughs> and drove us out to Montessori school. They have attended countless school events, helped me with assignments late at night, and even sometimes delivered a forgotten lunch all while managing working in another child, my sister and Michaela. They have worked so hard to send us to the school and we are eternally grateful for the many sacrifices that they had to make. I know I've said it before, but today I wanna to publicly thank you, mom and dad, for your sacrifices, your hard work, your love, your determination to make sure that I have a good education. Today marks my final day as a student of Montessori but the impact that has left on my life will stay with me. I hope that I have left my mark on the school, and I know that the Sharp family legacy will remain long after we are gone. This fall, I will start a new chapter in my life at university school with my lifelong friend, Zach. As I move on, I will look back at this school and will be forever grateful to Hutton Montessori School and the people who diligently worked to shape me into the person who I am today. Thank you. At the beginning of this school year, I had the pleasure of acquiring Rima in my advisor group as her advisor um, had moved to Columbus. Um, she represented some much needed grace and poise in my crazy band of boys. <laughs> but Friday lunches with our advisor group have given us all a chance to see the fun-loving fangirl inside. I recall Grandparents Day last year. Rima was seamlessly translating into Arabic and answering tough questions from her grandmother. She described the differences between Montessori education and the more traditional methods her grandma was used to. She stood tall and defended what she believed in. It was a privilege to witness the beginnings of the beautiful transformation into self-assurance. An adjective that comes to mind when I think of Rima is nurturing. Not only does she assist caring for her younger siblings, she also has been an excellent mentor to the current seventh level students. She offers sage advice and leads by quiet example. Rima cares for others when she exhibits an attitude of gratitude. She is always ready to volunteer to write a thank you note and express appreciation for kind deeds done to our community. She has also nurtured our environment 
as she maintained the gardens and the buildings, keeping our space a welcoming place for our studies. As I reflect on Rima's time here, I see how her furrowed brow of concentration is starting to relax. She is determined to pursue her goals. She seeks out methods for becoming her best self. This will serve her well as she embarks on the next phase of her education at Walsh. She has already talked about starting a new club when she arrives, and this is just evidence that she has grown into a confident young woman. I'm delighted to introduce Rima Sleck. What is a Montessori environment? Now, this question has many different answers and could probably be classified as an interpretive question, but my understanding of a Montessori environment involves allowing a child to discover and learn on their own and have permission to be able to create opinions of their own. It allows a child to expand their knowledge on life itself through a prepared environment. At the middle school level, the prepared environment is the community and the society that forms around the work to be done. Throughout my time in Hudson Montessori School, I have learned multiple life lessons. As a part of this small community, I had to do my part. For if there is even a small crack or fracture in a community, things could fall apart for everyone. I have seen the positive impacts I have made in these 10 years, but I have also experienced the challenges. I have learned that no one is perfect and that we all make mistakes. Some are larger than others, but we have to learn from our mistakes and overcome them. I think that one of the hardest things in, in a maintaining community or little society involves cooperation and respecting the ethics of the group. There will be moments when someone will go astray from what they know is right and good, but with guidance, they will always find their way back. It can also be difficult to cooperate with others in a community. We are all very different, and everyone has a right to speak their opinion. There will always be differences in those opinions, but we must be respectful as we listen and react. Throughout this year, I have been able to expand my knowledge and become independent in my own thoughts and beliefs. I have learned that a community must stick together and be able to help one another. A Montessori environment allows a child and an adolescent to learn for themselves and not be forced to rely on the opinions of others. I would like to thank all of my teachers that have helped me throughout my whole education in this Montessori environment. I would like to thank all my friends for helping me when I needed it most. I would like to thank Mr. Pethel, Mrs. Mast, and Mrs. Burglar for guiding me through my final year in the middle school. I would like to thank Mrs. Ludic for never doubting me when I doubted myself. Finally, I would like to thank my parents for sending me to Hudson Montessori School, for if they did not stumble upon this school, and yes, that was the case, I would not have received this wonderful education. If Marion Wright Edelman once said, education is for improving the lives of others and for leaving your community and world better than you found it, then I have received a great foundation. For my secondary education, I will be attending Walsh Jesuit High School with my memories from this place etched in my mind. Thank you. Could you imagine starting a new school knowing no one at all in the last year of your middle school career? to enter as a stranger into a community where everyone has known each other intimately for years. And on top of this, be thrust into a totally new culture many hundreds of miles away from your family. To tackle all these hurdles requires great courage and strength of character. And it has been my pleasure to watch Andy Zhang meet these challenges head on and surpass them. Andy's growth over the past nine months has been remarkable. As he tackled English as a second language, Andy flourished under the guidance of his tutor, Lisa. His writing flows with a poetic undercurrent, and he proves to be an excellent creative writer. His creativity shines in his artistic works as well. His drawings are beautiful and impress me endlessly. He has a reverence for music, blessing our community many times over the course of the year with his violin. Indeed, Andy has grown into a vital member of our community in so many respects. 
And not the least of these is in his humor. Andy is just so funny. He has made me laugh so hard. Truly, I think he's made all of us giggle more times than we can remember. Though I never will forget the time he made Noah laugh so hard that Noah couldn't speak for about five minutes. <laughs> or the time he requested fresh milk from the store when Mrs. Ludic was making a project supply run. <laughs> Andy brought so much light and laughter to our little house, and that legacy of lighthearted kindness will not soon be forgotten. Andy has overcome and surpassed so much this year. Academically, he has met challenges head on and turned them into opportunities. Socially, Andy went from a new unknown to a much loved and admired peer. His adventurous spirit will no doubt be kindled in his new academic setting nestled among the mountains of Colorado at the Colorado Rocky Mountain School. I wish him nothing but the best and much, much laughter too. It's my great pleasure to present to you Andy Zhang. This is my first year at Hudson Montessori School, and this is also my last year. There are countless and memorable moments and stories at Hudson Montessori School. I will never forget the time that I've spent with my friends here. If you were not my friend, there would be a hole in my life, a quote from anime. In my little young mind, friend, this war is even more important than my family. At the beginning of the experience here, I was nervous and apprehensive about what's going to happen because my, I have never been so far from home before. Before I came to America, I thought the students would not be so friendly to me. I would not be able to study with them because of my poor English skills. In the beginning of the year, I was really terrified about giving a presentation in front of a group. The first presentation was a group presentation and I only had a small part in it. I was still nervous. I barely said anything. As time passed, I started to do solo presentations. I feel less and less nervous each time. My fear of giving a public, my fear of giving a public speech is getting better. But I'm still nervous, especially now, <laughs> give, to be giving this speech. Over time, I began to find courage with the help of new friends. I started to be able to chat like a normal middle schooler. JD was friendly to me. It's easy to tell that he's friendly and kind to ev everyone, the same as Mr. Sharp. <laughs> because that is his personality, Smear asked me to join the soccer team. For him, it was a big deal, but for me, it was exciting. I never played on, I've never played soccer before, but I still agree to try it. It was fun to be on the team. I like being on team. I didn't re really have many preconceptions about life here before I arrived, but I can say that people were more friendly and accessible than I thought they might be. JD was the first one who invited me to his house, which made me feel comfortable and happy. I also became good friends with Trevor because we both like anime. Here, it isn't common to find lots of people who are interested in good enemies. <laughs> so, as I was especially happy to find a friend with this same kind of unusual interest that I have. Next year, at Colorado Rocky Mountain School, I hope, continu I hope to continue growing my vocabulary at the same time I play lots of sports there. Learning new vocabularies was a tough part of my year this year. And as a result, reading novels was a challenge. Next year at Colorado Rocky Mountain School, I plan to keep growing my vocabulary and reading skills at the same time I get involved in lots of sports. Also, I, I thank my host family, the Petersons. The Petersons? <laughs> there was they were so patient and helpful this, to me this year. And also, my tutor, Mrs. Lisa Frio, for, help, for all her help, for all help in reading and writing. 
I'd like to thank all the teachers who helped me this year, all on this memorable year. Thanks to all of you for listening to my speech. Thank you.